you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here we are at the O2 Arena in London, England, and for my money, this is as good a mixed martial arts backdrop as we have. Another capacity crowd on hand, as usual, for the UFC's annual stop here in London. The fans in England love sport. They love competition, and they show up, and they know what they're watching. You better be ready to put on a show when you step foot in the octagon at the O2 Arena. And you better be ready backstage if Leon Edwards is anywhere. Oh, man, let me tell you something. Leon Edwards is the man around here. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by Lee. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Nice side kick. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. Out of range with that one. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yep. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big kick lands. Fast leg kick lands. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Headshot, bang! Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Lee gets caught with that punch. Two minutes on the round one clock. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Let's go, you can do this. Keep going forward. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Oh, nice kick. 
Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Good job defensively to block that punch. Oh, misses with the jab. Good stick. Thirty seconds in the round. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. That's a good kick by him right there. Final seconds of round one. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh. Horns out for the end of round one. All right, take a seat. You look spectacular. Your pace, your cardio is fantastic. Keep breathing, stay relaxed, go out there, and let's put that pressure on. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC, and there was plenty of it. Yeah, and it was the knees. Every time you saw an opening, he took it, man. You can really damage guys with knees to the body. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, DC, here we go as our next round gets underway. And if you like Muay Thai striking and if you like knees, that previous round was the one for you. He does such a phenomenal job of getting into position to find those knees, whether he has an underhook, whether he has a collar tie, whether he's in the tie clinch. He just finds positions to drive those knees into his opponent's body or his legs. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lands. And they separate. Oh, is he putting it all together tonight? Another huge kick lands. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Finds his range with the jab. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Nice kick to the body. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Hook shot lands. to the jab now, no good. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice work, guys. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. We approach the two-minute mark in round two. What a tricky head kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. All right, 
right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, Superman punch. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? You ready? Do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice combination, yeah. Clean punch. Finish, finish. Trying to establish that jab once again. Let's get busy with the nice left hand by him. Good jab there by the champion. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. He, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Three minutes to go. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nice jab. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. And a nice left hand there on the inside. 
Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh! 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 Big right hand. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Clinch work. All right, so the body attacks continue to be the story in this fight, and looking really bad at this point in time, DC. Toughness only goes so far. And, and why do we have to rely on the toughness? I think right now we are in a position where the team has to start taking a look where the official has to start taking a look. Because sometimes you gotta save the fighter from themselves. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys going out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. As he opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right through the target. Nice jab. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Able to check that kick as well. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go with that extra 10 minutes. Seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Oh, leg kick. Stats in that department starting to pile up. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, side kick. Well timed there. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Back and forth we go. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Clipped him with the right hand there. Another 
punch to the head. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. The under three minutes now to go in the round. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. Oh, oh my God, he's hurt. He's hurt. There's his jab. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take these. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. Oh, nice inside kick. He checked that last one. White right, champ starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Get the elbow. Under a minute now to go. There's that side kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Eats a jab there. Checks the leg kick. Back and forth we go. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice punch here. 20 seconds left. Final seconds. Oh, a huge block there. For the body in it lands. Buzzer sounds for the oh, end of round stop, four. Stop, stop, All right, bud, listen, you are winning this fight. I need you to stay doing what you're doing, all right? It's very open to body shots right now. I want you to go out there and I want you to Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. It is the fifth and final round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attacked the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself out. Oh, Superman punch. Misses with the left hook. Able to block the punch there. He's cut. Get the elbow. Oh, inside kick. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Touches him with that left punch. Oh, he landed a near perfect knee strike there. Well, missed on that one. Nice leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. 
Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. And there's that jab. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Lands the right hand over the top. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, my goodness. Oh, landed some big shots, too. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Oh, nice, nice right hand. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can, seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, they separate now. We'll see who can get off in space. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice. That kick lands. Somebody's gonna have to press here. This fight seems to be on the table. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. is nasty. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after...